Hi everyone, this is Dr. Sabina Hussain Sayyad, Assistant Professor in Ginba Sopanrao Mose College of Pharmacy. Welcome you all to my YouTube channel that is Cognacy Made Easy. In this session, we are going to continue with the part 1 of Introduction to Alkaloids. In uh, part 1, we have studied about the basic uh, chemical nature of those alkaloids, their solubility. Now, in this session, we are going to uh, learn about their biosynthetic part. Before that, I request everyone to subscribe my YouTube channel that is Cognacy Made Easy. Okay. Let's enter into the subject. So, basic chemical tests of alkaloids. So, in any plant, if you want to detect the presence of alkaloids, whether you want to know that whether the, any alkaloid is being present in the plant or not. So, you have to do these four basic chemical tests. Four basic chemical tests. In the previous session of uh, GPAD tips and tricks, in the chemical test, I have mentioned that named chemical reactions are most important in pharmacognosy. So, here those basic chemical tests, they are having the names like Mayer's test, drag and drop test, Wagner's test and Haggis test. So, these are most important one. So, in this, you have to remember two things. One is chemical composition of this reagent, Mayer's reagent and the color it is going to produce. And the color it is going to produce. So, the first one is Mayer's test. In the Mayer's test, the reagent is potassium mercuric iodide. Iodide. Potassium mercuric iodide. And the color it is going to give you the cream color precipitate, cream color precipitate. Now, in the drag and drop test, the only difference is here the bismuth. Drag and drop has bismuth iodide, whereas Mayer's test have mercuric iodide. So, potassium bismuth iodide is the reagent in drag, drag and drop test and the color it is going to produce is orange red precipitate. Next, in Wagner's test, it is solution of iodine in potassium iodide. The color it is going to produce is reddish brown precipitate. Hager's test, it is a saturated solution of picric acid. As we know that picric acid is yellow in color, so the yellow color precipitate. So, all these four chemical tests in a, in, give an inference that alkaloids are present in the plant. Okay. Next, coming to the classification of alkaloids. In the classification of alkaloids, the alkaloids are classified into true proto and pseudo based upon their biosynthesis, based upon their biosynthesis. For, for These are the classification, proto, true alkaloids, proto or amino alkaloids and pseudo alkaloids. So, they are going to have different, uh, they, are, they are going to be distinguished based upon these three characters. That is nitrogen heterocyclic ring, biosynthesis and basic chemical test. So, in the true alkaloid, the nitrogen, as we have discussed in the previous uh, session, that in the part 1, that alkaloids are basic in nature due to the presence of nitrogen. So, that nitrogen in true alkaloid is present in the form of heterocyclic ring. But in case of proto or amino alkaloids, it is present in the form of amine. It is present in the form of amine, NH2. The name itself is here indicating that amino alkaloid, amine. Now, in the pseudo alkaloid, the nitrogen in some pseudo alkaloids, in, in purine alkaloids, in purine alkaloids, the nitrogen is present in the heterocyclic ring, in purine alkaloids, which comes under the pseudo alkaloid. But steroidal and terpenoidal alkaloids do not have nitrogen in, uh, in the heterocyclic ring. So, in pseudo alkaloids, in some pseudo alkaloids, nitrogen is present in the form of heterocyclic ring, that is purine alkaloids. And in some case, it is not present. Example, steroidal and terpenoidal alkaloids. Now, coming to the biosynthesis. Alkaloids are going to be synthesized from the amino acids by shikimic acid pathway. So, here, this amino, in true alkaloid synthesis, amino acids are involved. Means, amino acids are going to be acting as a substrate for the synthesis of this true alkaloid. And in case of amino alkaloids also, or proto alkaloid also, these amino acids are used as substrate. But in pseudo alkaloids, these amino acids are not involved in the synthesis. Okay. Now, basic chemical tests. Basic chemical tests that's Mayer's, Dragandroff, Haggers, and Wagner's test. 
these true alkalides give positive results whereas proto or amino alkalides also give the positive results means all the colors they are you are going to obtain whereas in the pseudo alkalides they give negative results no four basic chemical tests are going to be giving the chemi uh, color chemical reaction okay so this is the difference between the pseudo alkalides and the proto and the true alkalides now examples if we see in the true alkalides like indole alkaloid like ergot naxomica all these comes under this indole alkaloid quinoline alkaloids pyridine alkaloids like all these are going to be uh, examples of this true alkaloids whereas ephedra and colchicum which are going to have nitrogen in the form of amino ring amine amine is com comes under the proto or amino alkaloids so in pseudo alkaloids the examples are purine alkaloids which is going to have nitrogen in the form of heterocyclic ring and the two other examples are steroidal alkaloids and terpenoidal alkaloids so this steroidal and terpenoidal do not have this this steroidal and terpenoidal alkaloids do not have nitrogen in the form of heterocyclic ring and do not obtain from the amino acid not synthesized from the amino acid and they do not give any positive results for the basic chemical tests now here the example in the purine alkaloids it is going to be tea coffee caffeine okay all, all this comes under the purine alkaloids steroidal alkaloid kurchi plant terpenoid alkaloid it is aconite plant so he might be in the in the in the gpad it may be asked the plant name or the classification or the classification okay so this is the classification of alkaloids based upon biosynthesis next other type of classification uh, another classification of true alkaloids only true alkaloids this is only for the true alkaloids now we have got to know that alkaloids are be true alkaloids are being synthesized from the amino acid so let see which amino acids are responsible in the synthesis of true alkaloids and this is this table is most important because in in each and every year of gpat exam one question is going to be asked from this table okay in 2021 the recent gpat also got two questions from this table so let's learn this first let's first let's see the alkaloidal group first we are uh, consider this indole alkaloid so in the indole alkaloid you are going to have this indole ring so which amino acid is having the indole ring tryptophan that's why the tryptophan is involved in the biosynthesis of indole alkaloids the biosynthesis of indole alkaloids the plants that undergoes this indole alkaloid are ergot alkaloid naxomica rolfia and vinca okay the chemical constituent of this ergot is ergometrin naxomica consists of strychnine and brucine there is one thing you have to remember here very well that in gpad you might be asked question based upon the chemical constituent one or based upon the plant he might ask you that uh, ergot ergot uh, ergot chemical constituents are synthesized from which amino acid okay done one question or he might asking he might asking that ergometrin ergometrin is derived from which of the following amino acid so you have to remember that ergometrin is present in ergot and this ergot comes under indole alkaloid so all the indole alkaloids are derived from tryptophan this is how you have to remember you have to remember the plant name and also the phytoconstituents if i take an another example like for example he is asking the hyoscyamine hyoscyamine is synthesized from which amino acid so you have to remember that hyoscyamine is a, uh, he, he is is going to be obtained from the belladonna belladonna comes under the tropen alkaloids tropen alkaloids derived from arginine amino acid so the answer is arginine okay so now coming to the second type of true alkaloid that is quinoline alkaloid second type one was indoline indole alkaloid the other one is quinoline now you see the basic difference over here it is going to have a five membered pyrrole ring but it is here it is a six membered ring so that's the only one extra carbon is being added everything is been the same so that's why this is also going to be obtained from the tryptophan 
this is also quinoline alkaloid is also going to be obtained from the tryptophan amino acid now example is cinchona campotica now the phytochemical constants present in this cinchona is quinine quinidine campotensin so the question may be like campotensin is derived from which amino acid or campotica is derived from which amino acid now the third true alkaloid is tropene alkaloids if you see the structure of this tropene this is the structure of this tropene now this tropene ring is being obtained from this amino acid okay obtained from this amino acid now that amino acid is ornithine so all the tropene alkaloids are obtained from the amino acid ornithine the plants are belladonna dubosia hyoscyamus stramonium in this classification and the chemical constituents mostly they are going to have atropine hyoscyamine and scopolamine next true alkaloid is pyrrolidine now if you see this if you just close this ring again it is going to have this pyrrol pyrrol ring so that is also going to be obtained from this this pyrrol ring is also going to be obtained from this amino acid ornithine so pyrrolidine alkaloids includes coca coca see there is a difference between coca and cocoa cocoa uh, if uh, one o is there that comes under purine alkaloid if it is only coca it comes under the pyrrolidine pyrrolidine alkaloids so coca and ashwagandha these comes uh, these are going to be obtained from this ornithine amino acid okay and the chemical constituents the hygrin cosphoate next coming to this lysine this is the lysine is the structure of this amino acid lysine and this pyridine and piperidine saturated and unsaturated pyridine and piperidine pyridine and piperidine these structures are going to be obtained from this amino acid okay lysine see here 1 2 3 4 5 6 carbon so this is going to be uh, what uh, cyclized from this lysine amino acid so py pyridine and piperidine alkaloid is going to be obtained from this lysine amino acid the example of the plants are arico arica and lobelia here arica arica consists of aricole that is tetrahydropyridine and lobelin it is piperidine it is piperidine so next imidazole ring this imidazole alkaloids is going to be uh, imidazole alkaloids is going to have this imidazole ring so which amino acid is having the imidazole ring histidine so that's why it is being obtained from the histidine amino acid example single example is pilocarpus phytoconstituent pilocarpin pilosin now here amino alkaloids these amine nh2 where it, this is come, this comes under proto or amino alkaloid where this ring is being obtained where this amine group is present in which amino acid it is the phenylalanine it is the phenylalanine so ephedra example is ephedra ephedra comes under amino uh, amino alkaloids amino uh, and this amine is being obtained from the phenylalanine so ephedrine is obtained from the phenylalanine amino acid next isoquinoline alkaloids like opium these are going to be obtained from tyrosine see here this is obtained from the tyrosine so here only one hydroxyl uh, group is there so it is uh, tyrosine and the opium containing this morphine codeine thebine is being going to be obtained from the tyrosine amino acid okay next isoquinoline alkaloids like curare epica opium again opium and colchicum it is going to have this obtained from the dihydroxy phenylalanine see uh, there is one single hydroxyl group and if you have another one another hydroxyl group then that comes that is known as dihydroxy phenylalanine it is dihydroxy phenylalanine if there is one hydroxyl group attached it is known as tyrosine if there are two hydroxy uh, hydroxy groups are attached it is known as dihydroxy phenylalanine so this dihydroxy phenylalanine uh, also used uh, in the synthesis of this curare epica and colchicum drugs and remaining uh, the pseudo alkaloids they are not going to be synthesized from amino acid so here i think i have explained you everything about the synthesis of the amino acid true alkaloids and uh, amino alkaloids from the different types of amino acid please remember these two uh, tables very well because uh, in every gpat exam there is at least one single question okay thank you thank you so much for watching this video 
If you like it, please subscribe my channel. That is Cognacy Made Easy. Thank you.